Bye. Hi guys and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my recommendations from the Sephora VIB whatever it is sale that they've got going on right now. I think it goes until next Monday. Insert that magical date right up here somewhere I think Sarah. But it's 20% off everything. Literally everything. This never really happens like these brands don't go on sale that much. So I'm going to share with you guys this really super darn freaking frickity frick. Really easy makeup routine that just kind of covers up what you need to cover up. It also enhances your natural features. If I was going back to school, this is what I'd be rocking on the face right now. I'm not going back to school, but I'm still gonna be wearing this look anyways. It's literally a less than 10 minute face with five or seven products. So honestly, can't really get much better than that. It's less than $150 Canadian. But yeah, I've just been obsessing over these products. I wish they were around when I was in high school so I didn't need to suffer like I did with my daily makeup routine. It was tragic. But we're just gonna forget about that for now and we're gonna spill the bag. It's not Glossier, but they just make a darn cute pencil case slash makeup bag. So we're gonna empty this bag and apply the face. So let's get started. All right, so first up on the roster is my favorite current moisturizer slash primer. Honestly guys, primer's kind of a gimmick, like especially if you're in high school. You don't need to be wasting your money on that stuff. So this one is great because Personally, in a primer, I like it to be a little bit more dewy, so I look like all cute and stuff. So this moisturizer has it in there, so it's kind of like an all-in-one product. And you get to save yourself some money, so. Again, if you are blessed with good skin, I would just recommend using a concealer because I find foundation and stuff like that is just so unnecessary. It sets you up for disaster, kind of, like, if I could show you what high school Sarah foundation looks like, it would just be, you just wouldn't trust me with any makeup advice. Let's just put it that way. So I have two good options here. This is the new Milk Stretch Concealer, which honestly a little bit goes a very long way. It's very blendable, like would have totally benefited from this in high school, but milk wasn't around yet, so we suffered. And then we have the Lancome Skin Feels Good Hydrating Skin Tint, which is a really good option if you feel like you need a tiny bit extra coverage, like, I don't know, personally, I might skip this today depending on how well this matches me all over, but it's a good option either way. So, I know this might sound like a load of trash, but honestly, if I could tell my high school makeup self one thing, it would be to not over cake my face if I have some pimples because I feel like it just makes the pimples worse and doesn't help them go away and then in turn you just end up adding more and more and more and more products onto your face in the long run. So I feel like, honestly, this concealer did a really nice job. I'm not gonna even go in with the skin tint today, even though you guys saw I had pimples here, 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 all over my face, pretty much. Like I'm having a really bad high school breakout, but honestly, I feel like my skin will just recover quicker if I'm not like suffocating it. You yeah, feel me? So I have one palette here, which kind of gets the whole face job done in terms of bronzer, highlight, setting powder, blush. Like honestly, in high school, I didn't even know what any of those things meant. Honestly, you don't really need to go and buy individuals of everything. I find that a lot of good value sets, like this one right here, are just worth the bang for your buck because they have a nice mirror. You can bring them into school, make sure you're looking cute throughout the day. So I'm quickly gonna use the lightest powder in here just to set under my eyes, and if you're greasy, if you're greasy, sorry, that's like such an uncute word. If you get oily, then you can use this to set in other places. You guys know I love a good bronzer and could not live without it. So thankfully in here we have like three options kind of. You can mix the shimmery and the matte. So then lastly, we're gonna go in the lightest highlighter in this palette and we don't wanna overdo it again, guys. Like. You might get sweaty throughout the day. So just a little bit of highlighter to start, because also, I say a little and I did a freaking shit ton. Because also that moisturizer, remember, she had some glow in her, so we're already off to a good start. So if you really feel like you need to do something to your eyelids, I just recommend using the same old little palette that we just used for all over our face, and then take our finger and just do a little bit of that highlight. And we should look like we got a healthy, eight hours of sleep after we're done with this guy. You know, 
those kids that like used to eat their erasers in school. Why though? So I'm just gonna recommend that you guys use a clear brow gel. Usually I like the Sephora collection one. It's affordable, she's efficient. I've said that word too many times, I don't even think I've been using it correctly. I should probably just go back to school. She gets the job done, that's all you need to know. And she's cheaper than this one, which I'm currently using, which I don't really love, but I have it. And mascara is pretty personal, but lately I've been using the Roller Lash. If you guys have seen any of my other makeup videos, I probably had this for like a really concerningly long time already, like the same tube I'm talking about. So I'm gonna recommend you guys pick up the mini one. It's cheaper and this has lasted me, yeah, just like a concerning amount of time. And I think it's a really nice natural everyday mascara and most importantly, she doesn't smudge. So lastly, if you can believe it or not, I'm just gonna go in with a lip balm. I've been loving the Lano Lips. I believe this is a newer brand to Sephora, but I just picked this one up in the shade Perfect Nude. Honestly, when you start getting into like liquid lipsticks and all that fussy stuff, it's like a lot of upkeep I find. So with a lip balm that's tinted, you just really need to like put it on a little bit throughout the day. It's gonna keep you moisturized just in case. And I have mascara all over my fingers. Honestly, there are so many good things about this lip balm. It smells good, tastes good, makes you look good, keeps you moisturized. I cannot go on, like this is the only lip product you actually really need. All right guys, so that is it for this look. I'm definitely gonna link all these products down below for you guys so you can go and pick them up while they're still on sale because honestly, thank you Sephora for giving us a sale for back to school time because it makes it a little bit more enjoyable and honestly just encourages us to like revamp our makeup routines. That's gonna be it for today. Leave me your recommendations down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you on my next one. Mwah. Bye -bye.